Hey everybody, the gang's all here. Scream, uh, episode 206, Jeepers Creepers. Bibbs, Francis, Alonzo. Perhaps the most aptly titled episode of the season. How so? Well, uh, Jeepers Creepers, first off, we know what the word creepier means in today's uh, context. True, yeah. It's someone who is stalking someone, someone's very appropriate. Uh, and uh, this is an episode very much about uh, the teacher Mm. who was sleeping with a student in the last season. He gets his comeuppance in this episode, as far as we see. Uh, and Jeepers Creepers was directed by Victor Salva, who is a convicted sex offender. Ah. Uh, it did not make that connection. I did, and it was really weird. But so, you're you're on to something there, yeah. yes. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I guess we are now going into gaslight mode on Emma. Is that the deal? That, like, it's, it's, it, it's all about everybody thinking that she doesn't, is seeing things she isn't seeing, or, or is is responsible for things she doesn't remember doing. It, that would be. I think it'd be great if we were committed to that. But there's still people who don't, who who are who are with her on uh -huh. that. Like Noah believes her. Audrey knows to believe her, but she's had to pretend she couldn't for a mm -hmm. while. Right. Um, if that had been like the whole thing, is that she feels increasingly isolated and alone, and all of her friends think she's insane. No one knows there's any murders going on except for her. I think that would have been really intense well, drama. We might be building toward that. I don't yeah. know that we're done there yet. I think well, we needed some more validation of it, and I think that the sheriff gave it right because he mentioned that it was her email account towards the very end. Yes, that like that's saying, that's one of the so that was like validation that okay, this could quite possibly go the distance now. Let's take into consideration that every time she sees the killer or supposedly the killer, she's alone. No one's there to validate right. those scenes. Like she was mm -hmm. at first, she was in the house with Brooke. The house emptied. There was nothing there. And she's getting phone calls. She's and getting not phone texts. calls and not texts. Yeah. So mm. she's. So she could every time the phone may that, ring, she might just think about that. That means it, that means the killer must be an adult. Ah. Uh, because they're actually calling. I'm just. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> no, <laughs> by the way, to, 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 to touch on the technology side, right? I sure. love that they're playing on everything. So that we've now got gifts that are being used. Well, we did have gifts when they yeah. replay things back and forth with um, Audrey's character. But why don't they turn on location finder? Where they can all, instead of shouting out, oh my god, is this person here, is this person here? They all just share the location on their phone and then they know where everyone is. <laughs> Show's done. Well, look, show would also be done. There are so many like five minute conversations that could wrap up a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, like how long no, is Audrey gonna sense. almost tell Noah you know, things and then not tell him? This is this is a common trope, and we've all seen <laughs> that um, that uh, mashup on uh, YouTube of all the scenes in horror movies where someone doesn't get a signal on their phone. Yes. Uh. Cell phones are the death of suspense. Yeah. Cell phones ruin everything, and every time you see one of those scenes where someone can't get a signal on their phone or someone location finder doesn't work or whatever like that, it's because if that worked, then the movie would be over. Yeah. Yeah. It ruined The Witch for me. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, but no, but, that's, but I'm just saying, it's it's hard to eke drama out of something when you have a powerful supercomputer in your hand all the time. It's only because and I would I wouldn't device. I wouldn't yeah. bring it up if they didn't use technology so much in the show. But it's supposed to be this is mm. the idea that so it would be interesting because maybe Audrey's at the scene when she's not supposed to be there, so then he could ask her why you says you're here. Well, anyway, I imagine if she's doing a criminal some... enterprise, she's probably turned off that app. True. I will, I, true. Although I, I I will grant you this. I mean, I think I think the show is smart in in being so tech. Uh, dependent because mm -hmm. you know the kids. Um, <laughs> Those kids. However, I flip out if I go about thirty seconds and realize that I'm not carrying my phone, and I'm old. Mm -hmm. So the idea that Audrey would saunter out of the of school Absolutely. not uh -huh. knowing that she had her iPhone on her, I call shenanigans. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. I call mm -hmm. shenanigans on a lot of Audrey in this episode. <laughs> so like, there's the bit where like Noah ends up, uh, uh, you know, kidnapped and like strapped to the fun house. Mm -hmm. I like that he immediately realized this is the stupidest idea ever. I'm leaving, and that's what got him caught. <laughs> That's actually kind of clever. Yeah. But then he ends up with, and then they have this big heart to heart with Audrey. And then as soon as Emma shows up, Audrey just like pulls off her thing. So it was like, it was me. I kidnapped you. It's a long story. I'll talk to you later. Wait, what? What? <laughs> you can do that? But I love, the, I love that he, like, because anyone else he would have flipped out. But because it's yeah. no, he's like, it kind of makes sense, I guess. Yeah, you know, just push along with that. It. So yeah. she's so she was the one in the mask and the cloak in his exactly because yeah, there was a mask him. and a cloak. I was trying to think back. Was it just did we see a mask or was well, it just a handle? But, there but was. obviously there's a ton of them floating around because yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. the salve uh, the, the it was a cartoonist thing. guy has yeah, one. Too. It was a thing. Yeah, you can get those. Like yeah. I don't know if they're bootlegs or whatever, but you get them. Yeah, and I love how they <laughs> give that bit where it's like, oh, he's got the mask. Maybe we're supposed to think he's the killer. It's reference for a comic book. We've already established this right. by now. It's I'm not terribly swayed. Yeah, he's the, been my red herring up till now, but I think he, they're they're making him like maroon. I don't think I can go I, with him. Anymore. I have a, I have a new theory about the killer, but I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll save it for the end. I want to okay. get uh, back to Audrey. So Audrey claims that her inv whole involvement 
in the in the previous season's horrors mm -hmm. was she had talked to Piper was a famous podcaster. She had talked to Piper about coming to the town to do a <coughs> documentary about Brandon James. Right. Okay. Uh, but didn't we see in a flashback that there was at least one time where Audrey wore the costume in, with with Piper? That's how she got her DNA on the mask. <laughs> well, that's that's what I'm saying. That's the that's the thing she's still not telling Noah. Like, I there's more it. to that story, and I think she almost tells him, but then Emma shows up, I and then just eh, wants to get it over. I with. know, I know. It's so, like we have a we have a season to as, fill yeah. here. It's not as dis <laughs> we're halfway through it. No, but I, <laughs> we're wrapping shit up. But I like I like now that rather than us, because we are going to play Noah and kind of put the suspects out. I think not okay. automatically, but I do like that. It's they're, they're questioning each other more. That's what we never really had as much last season. We did have the fact because it was new. There was a killer on the loose. How do you deal with it? But now it's like everyone's a little bit smarter. They're all, well, they seem to they're, be a little bit smarter. Seasoned. They're still walking yeah. into the same situations. But as Noah goes, oh, this is ridiculous. I'm coming out. But they're starting to question each other. Like Kieran walks around from the corner, and straight away Noah's like, that's strange. Why are you around the corner? Mm -hmm. So I want to see how it. It, it kind of dissects the group a little bit because we know that Brooks, she's walking a very thin line as well. She's going into dark territory from what she did with the, the teacher who had that gruesome death at the end. So mm. it's starting to bring out parts of their characteristics that we didn't see as much last season. And it's posing an interesting question is who's going to go their own I, and try and keep away. You talked about dark territory. My first thought was, oh, Eric Bogosian's the bad guy. <laughs> um, my, I want to say I, 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 kudos to the show mm -hmm. for having Brooke do the hair thing and then not doing it. Because uh, yeah, that's, it's, it's a cliche on. at this point. So like, I know it's a thing. Just use the sizzles Ever since away. Legend of Billie Jean. Like, we're it's, good there. It, there's you know? a, there's <laughs> things that happen in real life that are real plausible, but when they play in a movie or a TV series, series they can come across as very contrived. They cliche. feel hacky, yes. Yeah, and so, yeah. No, I, I, I got it. I'm glad that she took the power back in her hands uh, and so so we have this whole bit where she thinks it's her old creeper teacher uh -huh. who who's doing everything um, which if he's doing everything why just leave him there why not call the cops I don't understand that if you think he's the killer well but anyway. no she she doesn't think he's oh, the killer by the end of it that's why by the end she, 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 yeah well she threatens to cut his dick off and when he doesn't confess then oh, she, that's right, she realizes he the, that he's innocent so he had, but he had the, so here's the deal he had uh, an alibi. He right. was with uh, Ms. Lang. A fake alibi. A fake alibi. The teacher. And so we think there's those, oh, okay, that that means the creeper teacher uh, didn't do it. What that also means is that Ms. Lang doesn't have an alibi and that she allowed someone else to use her as an alibi, right. which gives her an alibi. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. I think she's the killer. At least she's one of them anyway. Yeah, interesting. And, but also that whole scenario puts the sheriff's son back in that light as well because he was the, for as far as we can see, he was the only one that Brooke told about uh, t doing things with there the, with the two possibilities. Right. Nah, two other possibilities on that one. There's yeah. two other possibilities on that one. One again, Miss Lang, who knows that the teacher was like cheating on her on top of everything, and she's if my theory is right, she's also just the killer. But we also had that whole subplot with the mayor and uh, uh, Noah's not Noah's um, Kieran's Kieran's aunt. aunt. Yeah. Um, and he wanted her to do a very particular job that required a desperate person. Yeah, too now, obvious, I think. Now, too obvious and kind of extreme. I'm going to pick up a strange woman at a bar <laughs> and get her to cut a dude's hand off and cauterize the wound with an iron. I think that I think they want us to think that that's a the thing, but that strikes me as oh, really Oh, yeah, no, I never, I never well, made the connection that that I, was well, the job. Because the, the police job. won't do anything about this. But, but I like, wait, wait, I like whoa, 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 whoa. Here's my question, though. What, do we know what the mayor wanted Jake to do? Because I, I thought it was whatever that was that Jake didn't but accomplish. But I thought he was sexing the killer at that point. I thought the killer had Jake's No, no, no. But before, no, this that, before that, they had made an arrangement that he wanted Jake to do this thing. And uh, he gave him the, he takes him the directions of the barn and all that stuff. They talked What's about, in that fucking barn from early on where Jake dies? Well, that's a question. It may also have something to do with Jake was paying off the teacher in order to stay away from Brooke. Right. And he didn't have that money. So maybe yeah. it was through the mayor or something. But that's right. Yeah, Jake was making the money by doing the gig for the mayor. The mayor sent uh, him to the barn. Yeah. What's in the barn? It, oh, could be, okay. it could be interesting if the mayor's just pulling all the strings but not getting his hands dirty himself, but instead blackmailing people to do his dirty work for him. What about the sheriff? He's, the first interaction he had with the sheriff when he walked mm -hmm. into the, to the school was, uh, I was the one that made this position available from you. You yeah, made fun no. of him like, No, he said I sheriff. invented this I invented position. Sheriff. You invented sheriffs. Yeah, so, That's what he said. No, no, no. He said, he, said I, he said I wrote your job description. Wrote your job. Still stupid. No, so it's He wrote the job description of sheriffs. <laughs> There's a Wyatt Earp was following this I'm guy's sure lead. I'm sure it's a different job description, different, you know, <laughs> different municipalities. Different jurisdictions, right. Exactly. Anyway, but it could be the fact that he might be 
You never know. The sheriff might be trying to get close to Kieran to make sure that no one else is suspicious of what he might have done. Oh, and can we talk about how fucking stupid Kieran is? Yeah. Yes. One conversation with the sheriff, and he's immediately parroting that line. Well, you know, if we had talked to the cops more last time, my dad might still be alive. It's like, you know what? I would maybe appreciate that idea more if you hadn't literally just heard that five minutes ago and are now repeating it you know, verbatim like a parrot. There's a thing <laughs> that we sometimes don't talk about in a show like this, and I, I think with good cause, but I, I think it's worth bringing it up now. Uh, these kids who are played all by people who are in their 20s, are mm. supposed to be teenagers. True. They're supposed to be stupid. No. They're supposed, and I don't mean, I'm not trying to insult teenagers, it's just you don't have a lot of experience, you're controlled by a lot of uh, physical, uh, chemical things that are happening in your body that make you you're, very emotional. You're and easily influenced by, in yeah. the moments of stress. Yeah. There's, there's, yeah. Peer pressure is a thing for a reason. It's sure. because teenagers, so like- Shave I, off that mustache so we by other Kieran. <laughs> 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 so we, it, it should be plausible that he's, he's manipulated, but these people are presented as you know, maybe they make bad choices, but they're presented as so such strong, powerful characters. Noah yeah. is this no he knows everything. Like put sure. him in charge of the police force, <laughs> he'll solve everything. Yeah. Like why not? Right. But and then who's gonna be the one to manipulate them if that is that is a strong theory is because it's gonna be the adults who have been experienced of manipulation before, such as uh, my new suspect is the mayor, who mm. again, I don't think it is him that's doing it. I think that he's outsmarting these teenagers and he's outsmarting those in lesser, uh, lesser positions to try and utilize his power to have them do it. So if we're playing Noah, is everyone still get the same prime suspect? Because ah. I, I think the, the males, I, we haven't seen enough of Emma's dad. Yeah, he was my original theory, but you can't just take the guy out of three or four episodes. Without I think it's too obvious. Yeah. 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 yeah, I think he's, I think someone's gonna try to frame him so later. So I, I like have the male using his leverage to, to influence a lot of other people to do it. I wonder though, because he doesn't seem to be very good at that. Yeah. Like he tried to influence <laughs> the sheriff and the sheriff was just like, no, and he worked for that dude. So that, <laughs> he, in the first season, you know, he's gonna have this complicated blackmail scheme where he's like the bad guy from Clue. Like, like no, I think he's, he's I, I think he sucks at this. Like if you recall in the first season, he was being blackmailed. Oh, that's right, by he, Jake. Yeah, and he wasn't even able, to, he, he had to like eavesdrop on his own child, like Will and the <laughs> underline it a hundred times, just so he remembered one dude's first I name. That. He's not that the brightest, great. he's not the brightest mayor well, maybe in the box. he took box. it into his own hands once or twice. Maybe mm. he, he carried out the deed himself. Maybe he's doing it in order to protect his daughter who he doesn't find safe anymore because he doesn't trust the system, maybe there's other different ways. The to motive that. I get. I'm not denying that. I'm just not sure he's I'd not buy being, it if I found good, out he was Kaiser Sozo. Yeah, he's right. not. <laughs> he is he's not, not a mastermind. I, I agree. But what about yeah. Alonzo? Who was your original? Well, originally, it was Stavo. Is that Stavo? Oh, the, the sheriff's yeah. son? Yeah. 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 Were you not leaning towards Emma being crazy and kind of doing it herself? No, no, no. no. I'm saying that, that, this, that this episode seems to be throwing. I'm saying this episode seems to be introducing that notion. I think they're going to take that down the road a bit. I don't buy that it's her having episodes, but who knows? Mm -hmm. But no, up till now my red herring, my, 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 my suspect had been Stavo, but they're really going deep on him and making him such a sort of mm -hmm. fanboy obsessive about mm -hmm. the Lakewood Six and blah, 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 that I feel like it's too obvious. He's now. kind of an audience stand-in now. He'll be, he'll be like, if Noah dies this season, he'll be the new Noah. It, right, exactly. Yeah. He and I wouldn't put that past, uh, that, past it. Like, Randy died in Scream 2, yeah. so spoiler yeah. alert for but Scream 2. I could see, yeah, you take over the more. That was a good one that you mentioned in the last review, is that maybe there's someone so obsessed with the Lakewood Six and now there's an open vacancy, they mm. wanted they wanted to create that. Or they want to create so a new Six, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 It could work. I'm just saying it's not my current theory. what the heck? It was your theory, though. But it's not my current theory. I thought it was your theory. What is, okay. Uh, bitchy girl in the library who yeah. said that yeah. Emma's family was crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is she also the girl who tried to fake mm -hmm. out? Yes. Okay, her. <laughs> Do you just think it's her? Yeah. You don't yeah. think it's too obvious? You think yeah. it's her? Yeah, because she keeps popping up. Like they, you know. But like, she's popping I, up, and her motive is so bitchy. Like I don't, I, know. I don't see her being Machiavellian. Like age motive. Still, she, I thought she was a one and done, but they keep bringing her back. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to go with her for now. I, I for think, now. I, I, I expect her to. Throw, throw like, okay, so you notice in like a lot of slasher movies, there's usually like one complete asshole character. Mm. Uh, like someone who's just these terrible to his girlfriend or some cheerleader who's mean to everybody and hazes everyone. Oh, the nerdy They're, horror buff in yeah. Friday the 13th Part 3. There you go. Yeah. Well, um, no, actually, no, because he's 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 supposed to be sympathetic. Oh, that's that's <laughs> I I never thought I never thought Shelley was that sympathetic, but there you go. But like, uh, um, well, regardless, I know we, we know the trope. Um, You'll notice they're never the first to die mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you want them to die when you're watching <laughs> the movie. You realize everyone just has a target on their head and you just seek out who's the most annoying character, who do I want to see the least of, 
And then they're one of the last people to die because that builds suspense. So she'll have I, a big splashy kill. I think she's going to create, be more annoying as time goes on, and then she'll have some elaborate, satisfying death. Yeah, you're, if I were you're, you're probably right. Uh, yeah. This is not my million. You're probably as much, right, aren't I? Nearly as much as it's yours, but you know, I'm. This is for this week. Next week, <laughs> I could be singing a whole other tune. All right. Uh, so yeah, so things are happening. Yeah. Uh, join us next week.